updating the firmware on your Dreadbox Typhoon with a PC. The first thing to check is the version of software you're running to see if it needs to be updated. Which you can check by doing this. When the unit turns on, click the encoder twice to get to the main screen. This is considered the main screen for navigating the Typhoon. From the main screen, click the encoder once to get to the menu screen and scroll down to item 10, which displays the installed firmware version. Click the encoder to see the firmware version number. Then visit the Dreadbox website to see if there is a newer firmware version and download it if needed. The zip file you download to your PC will have three files, including a PDF file with the instructions and an executable file which installs the update software on your PC. The firmware update software will update the firmware only to this specific firmware version, in this example version 1.1. For example, if the next update is for version 1.5, you will have to download an updated version of the software specifically for version 1.5. When you launch the updater software, it should look something like this. If you launch the update software and it looks like this, where the text does not fit correctly, then you can adjust your settings as described in the update instructions. Very important! If you have programmed any of your own patches or modified any of your own presets, they will be overwritten with default presets when doing this update. So, using this same software, back up your patches first and you can restore them after the update. Note the backup and restore buttons on the software interface. A video posted by Dreadbox on updating the firmware for a Mac also shows steps for backing up and restoring your patches. Launch the Typhoon update software and get ready to plug your Typhoon into an available USB port. To set up your Typhoon to receive the update, plug the unit into a USB port, and that turns it on, and while on the Dreadbox booting screen, hit the SQNCR button, the sequencer button. This puts the Typhoon in the firmware update mode. The screen will display waiting to connect. While the Typhoon displays waiting to connect, click the update menu option. You'll be prompted to select a COM port. I had to use COM port 3, but keep trying until you find one that connects. After selecting a COM port that works, the Typhoon displays connected. If you haven't backed up your data before trying to update the firmware, you may also receive this prompt. And you might get this extra caution as well. After clicking OK for the last prompt, the software tells you to look at the Typhoon, where there are two more reminders about overwriting your data. Now the Typhoon prompts you whether you have backed up your presets and patches. And then it gives you one last chance. And finally the update starts. The update takes about 25 seconds, or at least that's how long mine took. The software will also show that the update succeeded and tell you to restart your Typhoon. After you restart your Typhoon, the firmware should be upgraded and you should be ready to make some synthy music. And that's how you update the Typhoon firmware with a PC. Cheers.